Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Qing. Uh, for today's video, we're actually taking you back to Yunfu, where we're going to have just play some music for you, basically. Uh, on the last Friday night, I was in Yunfu. I'd actually gone down to the supermarket to grab a couple of things uh, in the evening, and then on the way back, walking past the, what was it, I think it's the Hilton Hotel, I think they have there. Uh, I actually heard this music being played. They were uh, playing Let It Be. Uh, so I ducked around the corner to the hotel. There's a little outdoor bar out the front of the hotel. And yeah, there were a couple there playing music. So I sort of stood and watched them for a while. And then uh, as they sort of had a break i sort of had a quick chat to them found out when do they play there and stuff because they were really good and i wanted to go and go and try and catch up you know sit down for an evening and watch them so uh yeah found out when they play so we went uh went with my friends from yun fu we all went down there on the sunday night and uh yeah sat down there for a couple of hours listening to them they were really good uh play some really good music. The guy's a really, really good guitar player. Uh, sort of doing a lot of uh, sort of commonly known stuff like Let It Be by the Beatles, but doing it in a very interesting style, very jazzy, uh, very interesting guitar stuff this guy played. I was, yeah, I was really, really impressed. Um, so yeah, we're going to take you have a look at that, and then later that evening, <laughs> we're all sort of sitting there drinking and stuff, and then turn around. Well, actually, we're all sitting there, and everybody sitting in this outdoor restaurant all of a sudden just sort of stood up and raced out to the front, and we're looking around, going, "What the hell?" We look around where everybody's looking, and it's uh, all these drones up in the air, just hundreds of the bloody things. Uh, and yeah, it turns out they were rehearsing for the uh, fireworks display they had a couple of nights later. I think that was the Tuesday night in Yunfu for the 40th anniversary of the Wen... What are they called? Wenshu uh, Food Company? So, yeah, I'd never seen a show like that. I was just absolutely blown away. So, yeah, sit back, enjoy some music for a little while. I hope you enjoy this guy's guitar playing. He was fantastic. The girl had a great voice. Uh, they're a married couple. They've come in from Belarus. I think they said they'd been living in China for six years, but they just got to Yunfu. Uh, they were they just signed. A, I think it was a six-month contract, so they were going to be in Yunfu for six months. Uh, and yeah, I was uh, I sort of introduced them to my friends because uh, you know, being English speakers. Uh, all my friends, you know, the, the family I was staying with, they all speak English apart from the father. So it would be a good contact for them to have somebody they can, uh, they can chat with and stuff. So, yeah, I, I don't actually know if they've been in contact since with them. Uh, I'll have to get in contact with my friends and find out if they've spent any time together. I hope they have. They seem like a really nice couple. Uh, so, yeah, sit back and enjoy this. I hope... Uh, yeah, I hope they impress you as much as they did me. So we're here now in the Sheraton Hotel here in Yunfu and just listen, sitting down listening to these guys from Belarus making some lovely music. So we're going to... Uh, give you a little listen. They've been here in China for seven years now and they basically just move around playing music in different places. So they've been in Yunfu for two weeks now. They're here for six months. They have a contract for six months here at the Sheraton Hotel, which I'm sure they'll do very well at. They're very, very good musicians. So we're going to turn our camera around, give you a little uh, look at what they're doing. Yeah. 
absolutely beautiful. I love that guitar tone he's got. So we're here at the bar. The band's just finished playing and we're having a drink and we've just turned around and there's all these drones in the sky. It's absolutely amazing. So apparently this is practice for Tuesday night. They're going to incorporate the drone show with the fireworks display. So, uh, wow, look at that. So, yeah, we'll get the whole show on Tuesday night, but wow, I am absolutely blown away. I've, uh, they do these quite regularly down in Shenzhen. Uh, you often see special occasions they will use these drone flights. I've never seen one live, I've always wanted to. And that just blows me away. Unbelievable. So yeah, hopefully uh, we'll see them combined with fireworks on Tuesday night. So stick with us and uh, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, we'll bring it all to you in the near, near future. Okay, looks like we're all coming down for a landing now. Wow, that's just amazing. I am absolutely blown away by this. So we might, uh, tomorrow, we might try and take a walk down that way somewhere and see if we can have a little look at the setup. It would be really, really nice to see how they set everything up and how they control everything. We'll have to see how we go with that one. I will uh, do what I can, but no promises at this point in time. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, if you've stuck around this long, thanks for sticking around. Uh, if you've liked the video, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more of life here in, in China. Um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, Hit us up in the in the comment section. If you have any suggestions for videos, things you'd like to learn, uh, let me know. Uh, one thing that I am actually in the process of doing at the moment, I've just joined an English corner. I met a guy at uh, Frisbee one night. Him and uh, he was with a girl that he works with. So, and they both they both speak quite quite good English. So yeah, we had a chat, added each other on WeChat and stuff, and then uh, they asked me if I wanted to join this Eng English corner, Jiao Ching English corner, and I did, and there's yeah, a couple of hundred people in there. So I actually went to my first meeting with them, uh, when was that, last weekend? Went and had a, had a sort of sit down meeting with them, they do, which they do every week. Uh, and you know various people show up they have a topic for the day that they talk about and stuff but I've actually got uh, I'm chasing up some of them who can hopefully help me out with getting into things like factories and stuff uh, so hopefully be able to do a few more tours like we did with the plastics factory back in Yunfu um, and also hopefully some of them have a uh, bit of knowledge of the history of the re region here so yeah hopefully we can start getting some more information out and maybe even do some videos with some of these guys because yeah their English is good enough uh, that they should be able to convey most of that sort of stuff for us so yeah stick around hit that subscribe button and we'll have more coming up so yeah We'll see what we can uh, dig out with these guys. Hopefully they can, they can bring us some good content and uh, help us out. So thanks for watching, everybody. Stick around. We'll be back again soon. Take care.